Hello everyone. The beauty of the ocean is closely linked to the splendor of the coral reefs at its bottom. These reefs are home to various forms of coral and unique, beautiful marine biota. But have you ever considered that these coral reefs are being formed from objects we commonly use on land? In this video, we will explore the concept of a coral reef house created from New York subway cars. Have you ever imagined a unique and beautiful scene where thousands of New York subway trains lie on the seabed, with coral reefs forming in their carriages? This idea might sound absurd, but it was proposed as a solution to various problems. The New York City subway system is highly congested and requires many trains to operate. These busy trains carry millions of passengers every year, but older, unfit trains must be removed. The Metropolitan Transportation Authority, MTA, has found a unique way to deal with these old trains by sinking them into the sea. Starting from 2001 to 2010, the MTA sunk 2,580 cars to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. This innovative use of subway trains as artificial coral reefs began in the 1990s, with the sturdy and durable trains providing a habitat for marine biota. Go. Before sinking, each train undergoes a strict preparation process component such as seats, signage, wheels and oil are removed to prevent pollution. The clean trains are then transported by barge to the sinking location, typically in groups of 30. The first sinking occurred at the Slaughter Bridge in Delaware, about 25 km from the Indian River area. This artificial reef was named the Red Reef. Seeing the positive impact of the Red Reef, many states in the US have started using old subway cars as artificial reefs. Although these trains no longer carry passengers, they contribute to maintaining the balance of the marine ecosystem and serve as a popular destination for fishermen. Another example of underwater innovation is the underwater military museum in the Red Sea. The Kingdom of Jordan sank various military equipment in 2019 to create the first underwater military museum off the coast of the Red Sea. This museum features 19 pieces of military equipment, including tanks, ambulances and combat helicopters, submerged at a depth of up to 28 meters. Besides showcasing historical objects, this museum also provides a new habitat for marine biota and is expected to become a beautiful artificial reef that supports underwater biodiversity. In Turkey, an Airbus A330 aircraft registered as TCOCB was retired and turned into an artificial reef. This 54-meter long aircraft with a wingspan of 44 meters was sunk at a depth of 23 meters in the EGC Turkey in 2016 after nearly 23 years of operation. Instead of being discarded, the fuselage was used in a joint project with the Turkish government to create an artificial reef. The aircraft was dismantled in Antalya, transported by truck to the seaside town of Kusadasi, and then sunk after being prepared and attached to floats. In Thailand, apart from subway cars, other objects are also used as artificial reefs. In August 2010, the Thai government sank 25 battle tanks, 273 train carriages and 198 garbage trucks off the coast of Patani and Narathiwat provinces in southern Thailand. This project aims to create new coral reefs and improve marine ecosystems while also helping to increase the local fish population and prevent overfishing. The project, which costs significantly more than initially estimated, has been successful in supporting the growth of diverse marine life. Off the coast of the United States, two steel giants have found new homes under the sea. The aircraft carrier USS Oriskany and the ocean liner USS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg 
both significant parts of the US Navy have become beautiful and vibrant artificial reefs. The USS Oriskany, built after World War II, was sunk as an artificial reef off the coast of Pensacola, Florida, on May 17, 2006. The ship was thoroughly cleaned and prepared before being sunk using explosives, and it has since become a popular dive site. Similarly, the USS General Hoyt S. Vandenberg, a General HS class transport ship, was sunk as an artificial reef in 1993 after being decommissioned in 1983. This ship, the second largest artificial reef in the world, was also cleaned and sunk using explosives and has become a habitat for various marine species. Isn't it fascinating how these objects transform into beautiful artificial reefs, becoming homes for marine biota and contributing to underwater ecosystems? We can also enjoy their beauty and support marine life by exploring these unique underwater sites. That's all for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more interesting videos. See you in the next video.